In this unit, we're going to look at how to publish your site on the web using Dreamweaver. The first thing we need to do is to tell Dreamweaver how and where to publish our files. So far, we've only worked in what Dreamweaver calls the local view, the files on our local drive. We now want to enable the remote view, a view of our site on a web server. To do that, we need to define the remote site. So, we click Manage Site, then select our site and click to edit it. In the Remote Info section, we enter the details for our server. This includes the web publishing method, usually FTP, and our account details. With those entered, we can test our connection to the server. And once we have a successful connection, we can close the Manage Sites window to return to our files. Now to publish. For this, I like to expand the files panel to full screen, showing local files on the right and the server on the left. Next, we connect to the server, and now we can see the files on it. In this case, just the one. A holding page added at our URL until we're ready to add real content. So let's do that. We select the file we want to publish, then click Put. Notice that Dreamweaver automatically publishes the style sheet needed for this page. If we return to our browser and click Refresh, Notice the page isn't displayed. To see it, we need to enter the full URL with the name of the file on the end. Now that's okay for some files, but if we want this to be our home page, we want it to show automatically. So let's do that. We simply rename the file index.html in Dreamweaver. And again, notice Dreamweaver updates any files linking to this so that nothing breaks. Now we publish it. And in fact, I'm going to publish the entire site to show you how easy that is as well. Now, if we refresh our site, we see our new home page is automatically shown, with all the links we made locally now working on the web. So, that's the basics of web publishing with Dreamweaver. It does have some more sophisticated features, such as synchronization of files and checking out, but these are beyond the scope of this unit. So now for the practical. When you think you have a site ready to publish, work through the tasks to help you put it on the web.